Well, it is a culmination of countless hours of training. This weekend, Special Olympics Maine is holding its 50th annual Summer Games. 1,500 athletes are packing into the University of Maine for a competition and some celebration. New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse shows us how magical these events can be. One, go! 50 years of Special Olympics in Maine. That's 50 years of high fives, fierce competition, and of course, recognition. This is their state championship. This is their chance to be seen for the amazing abilities that they have. For Lisa Bird, this is the best day of the year. She's been working with Special Olympics Maine for nearly her entire life. She says the love and compassion for the athletes shown today wasn't the same when Special Olympics first started in Maine 50 years ago. People with intellectual disabilities had just barely been legally allowed to go to school. They certainly weren't out in the community competing in sports and, and com coming to events like this. But over time, that changed. Coach Sandra Heber has seen it happen. I just joined because it's an amazing group. What I didn't realize at that time was how much I was going to enjoy it. And now I'm 48 years later, still loving every moment of it. Now athletes, young and old, have the chance to shine like never before. Oh, you get to see other friends, you get to meet people. Everybody comes together to celebrate your abilities instead of your disabilities. And few have the abilities like Maddie, who competed at the Special Olympics World Games in Abu Dhabi this year. Got third in long jump and fourth in shot put. And whether you're competing on an international scale like Maddie or trying it for the first time, the crowd will love you anyways. The hooting and hollering, it's the best event you could have. You see the hundreds of people who are here cheering on our athletes. You can tell that we have come a long ways. And all of those people will keep people like Maddie coming back. Forever, never gonna stop. In Orono, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine.